Here we go. Got one here too. Double. I think we might have a double here. That oh, fell off. We got we got one. Save this for later. Skip jack, skip jack. You are gonna catch a nice catfish. Yes, you are, buddy. Skip jack. Some more jumping out there. So all I'm using is a three grub setup. A lot of times you'll get a double. Sometimes you get a triple if you're lucky. But these skip jack, they like to fall off right off the hook. So <laughs> even if you do kind of set it good, if they're There we go, another one. How many we're gonna get today? Oh, come back here. No. -uh. You know what? I'm gonna switch back to the other ones. So they either bite on the chartreuse color. These are the bigger ones, but. I usually use smaller ones all the time, and they work very good. Or white little grubs like this. You could also use the tubes, they work fine. But like a, a three of them set up. Spaced out about, whatever, foot, 15 inches, somewhere in there. Check it out. It's got six pound tests on here, I believe. Or maybe it's, yeah, six, I think. Or eight, something like that. There we go. A lot of times you could just leave it there and you might get another one. Oh. This one's a little smaller. Whoa. Well, it's about the same size. Double. See if I can pull this in. Still got it, still got it. They're still on, they're still on. Still on, double, double. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna put these guys back though. I've got five, that's all I need. Save some for another day. But I'm still catching them because they're fun. All right, get off that. All right, a little catch and cook here. Got the grill going. We're gonna smoke these bad boys up. Uh, I uh, I uh, took uh, five of them. I caught more than that, but I just took five and used two this morning to try to catch some catfish. Didn't have any luck, and I was like, hey, these are still fresh. While I was waiting for a bite for the catfish, I. Uh, Looked up on the internet, uh, does anybody actually eat skipjack? Wasn't a ton of, of, uh, ton of things I found about it, so I figured I'd do a video here and we're going to smoke these bad boys up. Um, what happened here, let me see this, let me pull this off here. I've kind of brinded, brinded them, is it brinded a word? Brinded them up. Oh, let's see here. Yeah. Oh, I'm still in continuous. So, you see there, I've got them grinding in um, salt water, sugar, and some garlic uh, since this morning. So it's been about eight hours or so. You see there, I cut off the heads and you know, cleaned all the guts out. They were fresh. They were caught the day before. Um, I mean, people eat, you know, like canned herring, basically, so... Pretty much the same thing. Maybe, maybe not. This might be disgusting, but we'll find out at the end when I try it. Um, so uh, let's see what we got here. All right, got the uh, chicken on here. Got some andouille sausage up there, and I'm gonna put the uh, skipjack under there now. Put it right 
there. I scaled it off, cleaned it out, cut the heads off. This brine should be pretty good, hopefully. We'll find out. And put a little Cajun seasoning, even though it's got the salt from the brine. I'll we'll sprinkle a little bit on top. Hopefully a little bit of that andouille sausage like drips down on it, makes it good. Now I'm gonna open up the grill and put a little bit of this uh, pecan on there. And then when that runs out, I'll put some of that apple, like I said. So, uh, let's do it. Let's put it right on top of the coals. They've been soaked for about an hour in water. So. Right, for about two hours, sorry, I took the chicken off. This is what it looks like. It's pretty good, right? Let's play it up and give it a shot. All right, skip jack. This was on the smoker for about two hours, around 200 degrees. Looks pretty nice. Let's pull the skin off. Like I said, I, I did uh, clean it up and everything head off and look at that it's got some bones in there let's see let's see if it's, it looks good a little bit of that off got some hot sauce and some beer to wash it down if it's not too good <laughs> there's a little tiny bones I mean it's just kind of like the can saw I don't think let's see here all right there's Pen bones in there stuff. Let's just try it right straight first, see what it tastes. Mm. It's pretty good. There's got a few of those little bones in there, kind of. Actually, it's not not too bad. This is a little bone, bones kind of kind of bothering it, but let me see if I can just kind of push them off the bones there. Can I get it off there? Yeah, it has a good flavor. It's just the bones. Let's see here. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I kind of like it. I'm gonna put it on a cracker. Just pull the skin back. If I can pull it off. I thought when it cooked a little bit better, it just kind of slide off the bones, but. Little hot sauce. Look at that. That. Mm. I think you should try it. It's actually pretty good. Not too bad. I want to actually make it again. I thought I thought I wouldn't like it at all, but yeah, it's actually actually pretty good. Hmm. Get a little bit of andouille sausage, a little cheddar. Hmm. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe.